So heat will create a hazard for an employee. The initial injury or illnesses would start with your heat cramps. Then we're going into the heat stress and then we go to heat exhaustion and then um, unfortunately heat stroke will then um, be that very fatal situation where workers um, may not recover. So the hierarchy of controls represent to that employer what they need to do to reduce, eliminate, or control a hazard. The hierarchy of controls is a framework made up of five categories, elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment, PPE, all ranked from most to least effective. Can we eliminate the hazard? The elimination of heat when we're working outdoors is just not always a situation where we can control that. Outdoor um, exposures are gonna be different than indoor exposures. They can't be controlled just by the nature of being outdoors. Can we substitute uh, something to eliminate that hazard or to reduce that hazard? It's always wonderful if the substitution is to work early mornings, if possible, or overnights when the weather is less of a factor. So those heat sources, having them mapped out properly could be a great substitution. We'll look at adding some type of engineering controls. Maybe we will have electricity where we can use a fan. Fans also can be used to remove the heat from an environment. You could increase the coolness by having those fans in a shaded area that helps the employees find a cooling station where they're able to drink their water slowly or they're able to rehydrate in that area. Administrative controls where we're creating procedures or a program. The employer says, I need you to drink water every 20 minutes. We know this is the, the hot work environment and we only allow you to work in that environment for so many you know, minutes or hours. When employees start working in hot environments, the acclimation to that hot environment is critical. Three out of four of the workplace fatalities that OSHA has recorded have been within the first week of starting that, that job. And so it's so critical to have that acclimation time. OSHA uses a 20%. So on the first really hot days that we're working, we're doing 20% of the exertion. The next day we're gonna do 40, and then we're gonna do you know, 60, 80, up to that, the end of that week we're doing um, you know, 100% of our, our work will be in that hot environment. When you take a vacation and you walk away for a while and you come back, you still have to be reacclimated into that, into that heat. At the last resort, then we would try to include personal protective equipment. So you wanna have lighter clothing. If you as an employer are purchasing clothing for employees, this would be a great time to have white or light or bright yellow clothing uh, for those employees opposed to a dark black. Now that we're working outdoors, we need to have UV protection for those eyes. The other personal protective equipment would be hats, to have a nice hat with a nice brim around it. One consideration with PPE is that it can become a hazard itself. PPE is not always helping you protect yourself against the hot environments. It creates an, an additional layer of burden. 80 degree temperature may not feel that hot to, to somebody, but if you've put them in a Tyvek suit, now we've increased that likelihood that their body temperature is gonna increase. So when we're working with the hierarchy of controls, I think it's really important that we don't just look at one level and say, that's it, once we've done that, we're good because those hierarchy of controls work together as well. An engineering control without administrative controls around it can be ineffective. To have a cooling area or a shaded area that employees don't have the time to go take a break or get the water that they need, then it's an ineffective procedure or control. I think when you have outdoor workers specifically, 
They do that manual labor because they see a job finished and they like seeing jobs finished and they want to get that done and they want to finish it by the end of the day. And so they jump right in and that's why we have to control those environments. That's why we have to watch and monitor them because they are so good at what they do that they, they feel tough. So I think it's really a misnomer to a lot of people when they think I'm healthy, I'm tough, that it's okay, I won't have any issues with heat-related illnesses, and, and that's just not the case.